What is up everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video, we're gonna answer the question of what happens if somebody deletes an item in Microsoft Teams. Now, we've all been using Teams for a while now and one of the most common questions is, well, what happens if somebody accidentally or on purpose deletes a file that we're working on? So in today's video, we're gonna go through what happens if someone accidentally deletes that file and how we can recover it and also find out who deleted that file. Um, what we can see here in front of us is we have two Teams accounts logged in. On the left-hand side, we have Megan and on the right-hand side, we have Grady. Um, and what's gonna happen is you can see here that they're both logged into the, into the same team site. They have their NWB 2000 product technical team with their general and their design tabs. And in the design tab, we can see that both Megan and Grady can see the same two files. You can see here they have the XT1050 marketing collateral and the usability test 2.3 document. So what happens if somebody accidentally goes in and deletes one of these files? Well, let's say for example, Grady was working on something and he was working on the 1050 usability test 2.3. And for some reason he thought, you know what? We don't need this document anymore. I'm gonna delete it because we have a new document coming out. And Grady actually decides to select that document and then he goes into the options and he deletes it. Well, he gets a message saying, are you sure you wanna delete this item? It was, as you can see on the right hand side. And he's like, you know what? I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna hit delete. And we can see here that it is deleted. It is gone from Grady's view. Megan, on the other hand, she can still see it until her Teams refreshes within a few seconds. And when you see once Teams is refreshed, that file is no longer gonna be there for Megan, Grady, or anybody else in their team. And it's usually at this point people say, well, what the hell, how do I get that document back? So because they're all part of the same team site, they can all actually do the exact same actions. I'm gonna open up Megan's profile here in full screen just so we can see a few more options. And then at the top of the team site, we can actually see a few options here of new, where you can create a new document or upload documents or sync or copy. And on the right hand side of that, the last option is the option of open in SharePoint. The way we got to here, by the way, is on the team site where we have our posts and everything, we have our file section and that's where all the files in your team live. So if we go into the file section, it's gonna show us all the documents in that team site. And if we go to the right hand side in the menu here, it says your new and upload and sync and whatnot. The last option there is open in SharePoint. And if we select open in SharePoint, this is gonna take us to essentially the back end of what powers Teams, which is Microsoft SharePoint or cloud storage for your team. From here, it's a very similar view of the documents that were in your team site. You can see that we can see the XT1050 marketing collateral and nothing else. And well, you might think, hey, if I open in SharePoint and it's not here, what do I do? On the left-hand side of, the, of your SharePoint, you can actually see a few options that are very similar to the options in Teams. You have your home, your conversations, and the option at the bottom here, just above edit, is your recycling bin. So when you delete something on your computer, it goes onto the recycling bin on your computer. When you delete something in Teams, it goes into the recycling bin in SharePoint. So if we open up the recycling bin here, remember right now we're doing it from Megan's point of view, but anyone in the team can actually see this. We can actually go into the recycling bin of that team. And what we can see here is that document that actually had um, the name of the document, the date and time it was deleted, who deleted the document, who created the document, and where that document was originally stored. So we can see here that, well, that's the document we're after. It was recently deleted by Grady, who's in the team, and it actually lives in where that document was living. So what we can do is actually select on the document or multiple documents, if you have multiple missing, and then you can go restore. And this is gonna bring all those documents back into your team site where everybody can work and collaborate on them again. So if someone does delete everything from your team site, this is the first place you wanna look. You wanna go into that team site, you wanna go open in SharePoint, and then in SharePoint, you wanna go into the recycling bin. In the recycling bin though, you can actually see there is another option here, which is delete again. Unfortunately, if someone's gone in and they've deleted it from Teams and they've deleted it from SharePoint, this is where you're gonna to have to get your IT admin to actually go in and they have the ability, if it's within 90 days, to recover more features and files. 
So if someone's accidentally deleted something, it's gonna go into this recycling bin and then we're gonna hit restore. And of course from here, you can actually see if we deleted it. If we go into the team site and we just refresh this page, both for Megan and we'll refresh it for Grady, we're gonna see that that document reappears on here. So we can see it just appeared for both of them as it restored back into the team site. But of course, if someone has been really malicious and they've gone in, they've deleted it, then they've gone into the SharePoint and the recycling bin and they've hit delete again, that's where you simply say, well, we need the IT admin and they have another level of recycling bin that they can go in and restore those files. So hopefully this answers and puts your mind at ease that if someone accidentally deletes a file in Teams, you can simply go into your team site, open it in SharePoint, go into the recycling bin, and then restore that deleted file. And also you can find out who did delete that file in the first place. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.